Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning for November 4th through November 10th. And if you're new to my channel, memory planning just means that I go back in to fill out the week after it's already happened. So of course we are already in December, um, but I'm going back in to fill out what happened during this week of November um, because I'm just catching up with my journaling. So anyways, the kit that I'm going to be using this week is from MP Designs Co. This is a camping themed kit, which is so perfect for this particular week because um, we went camping with our friends over the weekend. So I specifically looked for a camping themed kit for the occasion and I stumbled across this one from MP Designs Co and was super thrilled because this is so adorable and was just like so perfect for what I wanted. Um, the first page here has the eight full boxes and the quote box here says the great outdoors and then we have four appointment labels at the bottom. On this page, we have the washi strips and the bottom washi, and it also comes with these two additional like glitter strips over here. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be using them yet. Then over here, we have all the functional boxes. We've got half boxes, appointment labels, quarter boxes, and then scallop labels. And then the last page here has more functional items. So we've got all the sidebar trackers. We have a set of eight little things. They're like meal little things, but I can always put an icon over them and just use them as another kind of box. Um, we have a few online order um, boxes, which I probably won't be using because I don't really track my online orders. And then we have these empty boxes, which I thought would be perfect to mark like meetings that I have. And then the last thing included are these like circle um, strips. I think you can use them as a habit tracker if you need to stack quite a few of them together because there are seven circles. So I assume one for each day of the week. Um, so yeah, this is the kit that I'll be working with. Again, I just love this design so much and I'm really, really excited to pull this together. So if you're interested, interested in watching me memory plan for this week, then go ahead and stay tuned. I go ahead and do my basic whiting out and placing down of the bottom washi. This is just the typical way that I've been working with the bottom washi section in the new Erin Condren planner. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move to my sidebar. I initially started building it from the top, but I realized that the spacing might be a little bit tricky. So I ended up deciding to start from the bottom. To cover up that little calendar in the bottom corner, I decided to place down some washi strips on top of that. And I started by putting down these um, washi strips that came with the washi but it didn't quite fit well in that space so I decided to pull in a couple different ones instead and I think that worked out a lot better and then like I said I decided to work backwards because um, then I knew how much space I had left at the top um, and I pulled in both the Monday through Sunday boxes from the kit to track my happy moments and my dinners and then the habit tracker as usual is for my working out even though I did not work out this week um, above that I put down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams and then um, for the full box I just had to white out half of the hexagon that was printed on the planner and so I go ahead and do that and place down my full box. I then pulled in this November script sticker from Heather B. Co. Um, just because there was a little sliver of space there at the top and then I go ahead and fill out the headers in my sidebar before moving to Monday. For this week, I decided to use these strips of glitter washi that came in the kit as glitter headers, and I just cut them down using a gift card and my slice precision cutter. Um, if I remember, I will link the cutter down below. I just got it off of Amazon. But anyways, on Monday, I placed down a strip of the glitter header, and then I pulled in this little things to mark my breakfast for that day. I then put down a half box with this glasses sticker from Laven Forest to mark an observation I had that day. And for this week, I definitely wanted to do some brush lettering, but I was having a really hard time with the brush pens that I have. I think it was more to do with the paper of this kit. It was on this like matte paper that really just like dries out my ink. And so I tried using a few different pens this week. I grabbed some lunch and boba off campus that day. So I used this really cute boba girl sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio and then placed down a full box underneath. I pulled in a scallop label with a mail icon from my spoiled planner to mark that I sent out some happy mail. I think it was for a giveaway winner. And then at the very bottom, I used a quarter box with this edit sticker from Love Shira to mark that I did some editing at the end of the night. In the space remaining, I used this annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had a really awful dinner that night. We were trying something new from Costco and I just really did not like it. I hate wasting food, but I had to throw it away because it was just that bad. Um, then moving to Tuesday, I first started by placing down this Today header that I found in my leftovers collection. And then I used this appointment label with a working emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had a really productive day on Tuesday. 
I placed down a full box and then decided to remove that today header. Um, I think I didn't really want the full boxes to touch like the one on Monday and the one on Tuesday. I just didn't want them to overlap. So by removing the header, I could scoot up the full box a little bit. Then underneath that, I placed down a scallop label with this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a meeting that I had. And then we had an IEP that afternoon. And if you're new to my channel, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students in special education. Um, so I pulled in this IEP sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that. I then cut a strip of glitter header and placed down a half box underneath that with this couple sticker from Fox and Pip to mark that my boyfriend and I did date night that night. We went and got some udon at this new-ish place that opened up, um, but we just haven't had a chance to try it yet. And then at the very bottom, I put down this label um, to mark that we stopped by Sephora before going home because I ran out of my eyeshadow primer, and so I had to go grab more. That makeup sticker is from Paper and Milk, and even though that's not eyeshadow primer, I felt like it was close enough because I didn't have that exact sticker for it um, but anyways on Wednesday I placed down a full box at the bottom first and then moving to the top I started the day by placing down a to-do header I then used a quarter box with this pencil sticker from my spoiled planner to mark that I did a lot of testing on that day and then I put down another one of those labels um, and initially I tried to write IEP in that little flag in the corner but I just really did not like how it looked because it was like totally off center so I ended up pulling in another IEP sticker from Happy Dye Stickers instead. Underneath that, I cut down another strip of the glitter washi into a header, and then I used a quarter box with this stressed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I got home really late on Wednesday. Um, pretty much all of November was really, really stressful at work, and um, I think for like two, three weeks, I got home super late almost every single day, so it was definitely a really hard month for me in terms of work, but I'm really glad that's over, and it's been a lot less busy recently, which is nice. Um, I then used a half box, and this is where I I was having issues with my brush pens. I literally tried like three different brush pens that I had and they all did not write on the box very well. So um, anyways, it was just kind of a challenge for this week. Um, I used that half box to mark that we went to Costco because we had to pick up some stuff for camping the next day. And then in the remaining space, I just put down this little luggage sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we had to pack for camping because we were leaving right after work the following day. On Thursday, I started by cutting down another strip of the glitter washi, and then I used this little glasses sticker. I actually don't know which shop that's from because I just pulled it out of my little leftover stickers book, um, which has just stickers from all different shops on there. And then I used a meal little things to mark where I grabbed some lunch. Underneath that, I used an appointment label with another IEP flag from Happy Dia Stickers to mark another IEP I had on Thursday. I had quite a few this week. And then I put down my favorite full box underneath that, the one with the tent and the moon, I just think it's so adorable. I placed down a half box at the bottom, and then um, I think I was just trying to figure out the spacing for how I wanted to mark everything the rest of the night. On the appointment label I just put down, I used a taco sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark where we got dinner that night. Our friend actually came over and had dinner with us because we were all driving up to the campsite together, and then I used a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark the drive. On the half box, I put down this really cute tent sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark our camping trip. And we were actually up there to support our friends who were running in the Ragnar Trail Race, um, which was like this relay race where there's like a team of eight people and they collectively run, I think it's like 220 miles or something like on the trails. And yeah, it just like continues through the night. And so they have to pretty much take turns and some people have to wake up at like three in the morning to run their um, like eight miles up in the mountains, which is so crazy. And it's definitely not something that I could ever do but I was so impressed with my friends and that was the reason that we were going camping um and yes yeah, so on Friday I first started by placing down the full box at the top and then I used a scallop label with this coffee sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we got some free hot cocoa in the morning and that was super nice um it's pretty cold up there so it felt really nice to drink hot cocoa um then in the morning we sent off our first runners I think it was like at seven or eight in the morning um so I used this shoe sticker from from Hazel sticker to mark that. I then put down a half box with this beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, um, but I decided that I wanted to brush letter in the half box, so I changed the writing on top of it to just regular writing instead. I go ahead and white it out, and then I found this like sticker scrap from White Deer Stationery. It was like a kit that I used from her before, and there was a bit of space at the top where I could write it in and um, stick it onto my planner instead of trying to write over white out, which can be kind of tricky. Um, so I do that really quick, and then on the half box, I just marked 
craft beers and chill because that's pretty much what we did all day. Since we weren't running, we just ended up having beers and snacking on like every kind of junk food possible um, pretty much the entire day. I added a glitter header on top of the half box and then continuing with the day, I used a quarter box with this pizza munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that we got some pizza for dinner. And then I decided to scoot everything up just a little bit because I didn't have enough space to mark everything I wanted. On the appointment label, I used this happy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we did our volunteering shift by passing out cookies. That was something that we were helping out with. And then at the end of the night, I made some hot instant noodles, which was so good in the 35 degree weather. And the utensil sticker is from Bubba Bear Studios. I put down a full box at the bottom of Saturday, and then I decided to switch the placement of that glitter header on Friday. So I go ahead and do that really quickly and then place down another glitter header on top of the full box on Saturday. I then put down my last glitter header of the week at the top of Sunday. I decided to use one every day and alternated the colors. Um, but anyways, then moving back to Saturday, I first used this meal little things to mark what we had for breakfast. And then I placed down a shoe sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we cheered on the runners and got to celebrate with them as they finished their 220 mile journey. There were two teams up there with us and one team took like 25 hours and I think the other team took like 31 hours. But yeah, we were just so proud of them um, for just making it through that experience. Um, then underneath that, I used a quarter box with this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we had to pack everything up um, because we were heading home that day. I then placed down some boxes to hold the space where I wanted to mark things. On the half box, I used this heart sticker from Kylie and Chaos, and I used that to mark that we said goodbye to our friends and drove home that afternoon. And then we grabbed pho for dinner when we got home. And initially I used this pho sticker from Hazel Sticker, but I ended up having to nix that because I wanted to use this sticker from Paper Bear Co. of The Girl Taking a Bath, um, just to mark that I had like a really long shower when I got home and I felt so good and so clean because obviously we couldn't shower um, when we were camping and so I was just like super dusty and gross and yeah it was the most amazing feeling but anyways I ended up using this noodle sticker from a happy blue tree instead to mark our dinner on Sunday, I placed down this half box and used this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had a super lazy day on the couch, which was probably one of the best things ever um, following a camping trip. And I just thought that emoji was so perfect because I pretty much spent all day in my PJs. Um, underneath that, I used a laptop from Hazel Sticker to mark that I responded to my YouTube comments that day, which did take quite some time. And then I used a full box with this appointment label and a TV icon from my spoiled planner to mark that I binged Gilmore Girls for most of the day. I did work on my videos later that night, and so I used this record sticker from Love Shira, and then I decided to add in this to-do header from my leftovers collection, just because I had more space than I needed, because again, it was such a lazy day and pretty much nothing happened. Um, and then at the bottom, I just used a meal little things to mark our dinner. That was it for this week, so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar and track all my happy moments and my dinners for the week. I did no workouts this week, which is really ironic since I witnessed so many of my friends like running 14 miles up and down trails, but clearly that is just not for me. Um, but anyways, the last thing I do is switch out the color of the scallop label that I used on Friday. Um, I had used the green one, but the half box right next to it was also green and I didn't want those right next to each other, so I switched out the scallop label for a black one instead. I really quickly show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit, and that is it for this week. So here is my final spread. Um, I just honestly love this so much for camping and highly recommend this kit if you're looking for something camping related as well. I think it came out so cute, and this artwork with the tent and the trailer and the trees is just adorable. So yeah, that is it for this week. I had so much fun putting this spread together, and I hope you guys enjoy the video as well. Please let me know if you have any questions, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my little channel. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!